get a shot of the, the pupil. Oh, it's drying out. How are we feeling? Man, I feel good. Uh, I didn't know that I would, actually, because we trained really hard Monday through Wednesday, and I was like, well, hopefully by Thursday I'll feel recovered enough to give it a go. And I do, I feel good. I just had a perfectly dialed shot of espresso, brushed my teeth, put on a fresh Gymshark outfit, and I'm ready to kick some booty. Week two, let's go. Do you have a prediction for this week? No idea. The only prediction that I feel confident in is that it's not gonna be dumbbell snatches and burpees again. That's all I got. Sent Jojo a little kissy face. It's good luck. I think I saw a little stat sheet. It was like toe to bar, bar, no, I'm sorry, toe to bar, double unders, ring muscle ups, and thrusters are like almost the most common of them all. Let's find out. Really? What a funny Welcome idea. to the shred shed. A 300 meter row. 10 deadlifts at 185 pounds for you gentlemen, 125 for you ladies. 50 double unders. And it is as many reps as possible. In 20 oh, minutes. 300 meter row, 10 deadlifts of 185, 50 dubs. That's just like, yeah, there's like no need to stop ever. Well, good thing we did a bunch of deadlifts yesterday. My back back's a little sore. All right, let's freaking do it. 148, 150? Not 145 the whole time. I don't, I don't know if they fell off by much. 148, 147 on the last couple. And so like, if you start around a 148, you have faster double unders than both of them, I would say. Yeah. Like you're gonna make up a second couple. or two there yeah. where you can give it up on the row. Um, this is transition. Yeah. Uh, it's, honestly, it's not much to it. Cool. Deads are unbroken get, get every through, time. Get through 10 rounds in about 19 minutes. So you're looking at halfway through, sub 10. Five rounds, sub 10. Yeah. 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 Three, two, one.
you can see by the sweat dripping down my face, I literally just finished open workout 24.2, score 934 reps, which is four deadlifts into the 11th round. It was a tough workout in a sense. It's 20 minutes is a long time to be moving the whole time, but it wasn't super gritty, grindy, high intensity. I feel like I personally paced it well for myself. Big shout out to Tola. Right before I started the workout, he was like, I think you could probably get away with being one to two seconds slower on each row and make up time on the deadlifts and double unders and have more energy at the end. And that totally was the case. Originally, I was thinking I wanted to hold a 145 per 500 from the beginning and try to sustain that all the way through. Instead, I held like a 146 to 148 for most of it. And then on the last three rounds, I had a good bit of energy to really kick. I think my 10th round on the rower was like a 143, 144. And then my final round that was just like ripping it to try to get through 300 and back onto the deadlifts was like a 135 the whole time. If I had gone faster all the way throughout, I might not have had that extra energy at the end. So that's tip number one for everybody out there is definitely pace it. I know that sounds obvious. Everybody's gonna be saying that, but potentially row one to two seconds per 500 meters slower than you think originally that you maybe were going to. That will allow you to be more consistent, have some energy stores saved up so at the end you can drop the hammer. Tip number two, mess with your setup because there's no setup requirements as far as we could tell before we started the workout. Try to get your transitions as tight as you can. I did some sort of like little triangle formation and it was just a couple steps between each movement. So try to find something that's gonna be really efficient for you. And this is kind of tip number three that goes along with tip number two. Be as efficient in those transitions as you can. Even if you have the bar set up really close, don't waste a ton of time picking up the rope. Don't put the rope down at the end of every round in some crazy frayed up position. Try to get off the row or pick the deadlift bar up immediately for most people out there. If it's light enough that you're not really concerned with the weight, just grab it even if your grip is a little off and start pulling. Same thing on the rope, pick it up, take a breath, get set and start right away. And when you put it down, make sure that you're putting it down in the same place every time so that those transitions can be quick. If you save three seconds every transition and you're doing 10 rounds, you just bought an extra 30 seconds. All in all, it's kind of a fun workout. I like those workouts where you can just motor through it the whole time. You're not really gonna ever hit muscular failure on any of those movements. My back never blew up, which I was a little concerned about. You can just kind of keep going the whole time. So try to have fun with it. Try to keep moving no matter what you do. That's it, that's all I got. 24.2 is in the books. There's only one more workout left in the open. Hope you guys are having fun. We'll see you next time for 24.3. And before that, we'll see you on the leaderboard. Peace.